Okay, welcome back, IB macroeconomic students, to this video lecture. Today, we're going to be going over the business cycle with the ADAS diagram. Okay, so uh, we'll be going into what ADAS, aggregate demand, aggregate supply is. But today, we're just going to be going over what the business cycle is uh, and what, what the implications of a business cycle is for uh, the broader economy. So first things first, let's 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 give an hypothetical example of an economy. Okay, let's say that uh, first the first factor is that uh, there is uh, population growth. There is population growth, and um, the workforce of the of this hypothetical economy is indeed increasing. Okay. So that's our first factor. The second factor is um, the productivity of this workforce is also increasing. Okay, meaning um, each productive output of uh, of 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 the uh, of the members in this economy is being more productive, maybe uh, due to technology, um, due to education. Or, or, or a variety of other reasons. Okay, so uh, given these circumstances, we will expect the real GDP, okay, on the y-axis, to increase over time. Okay, so um, this this is this is this makes a lot of sense, right? Um, population is growing, so the workforce is indeed increasing, uh, uh, uh combined with the productivity. Okay. So we will expect real GDP, or actually the gross domestic product, to look something like this. However, okay, however, here, here, here's the catch. Reality is not like this. Okay, reality has cycles. Okay, it has, it, it looks a little bit more like this. Okay. It moves in patterns. Okay, the boom and bust cycle. I'm gonna draw a little bit better. Okay, we got the boom and bust cycle. Now, of course, it follows the the, the macro trend of 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 the real GDP growth over time. However, it it, it is more twirled and 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 it is, it is shaped like this. It increases. Okay. For some seasons, the real GDP increases. For some seasons, it plateaus below the average. For other seasons, it goes well be above the average. For other seasons, it goes well below the average. Okay. So um, we can also see this um, exemplified through the stock market. We can see this exemplified through uh, unemployment numbers. Okay. We see we see cycles, and this is what we uh, economists coined the term business cycles. Now uh, there is a lot of debate. Okay. There uh, there is in the, uh, there is indeed mm, there is a lot of debate uh, as to why the business cycle uh, occur, but. Consumer spending and consumer confidence is uh, usually cited uh, as the primary factor. Okay. Now, consumer uh, spending and consumer confidence is usually cited as the primary factor for the existence of the business cycles. Uh, now, why is that? Now, first of all, let's consider what a consumer uh, uh, spending and consumer confidence implies and includes. Okay. So, consumer spending okay, includes, uh, imagine this, in, 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 in a boom cycle, uh, businesses are higher in people, unemployment rates are low. Uh, because businesses are high in people, workers have more money and workers can spend more money. However, in a bust cycle where re real GDP is slowing down or when real GDP is actually decreasing, um, consumers are being, uh, producers are, are having to lay off people. Therefore, workers are being fired. And when workers are fired, they have less disposable income to spend money and leading to them spending less money. And, and because cons consumers spend less money, producers receive less money, leading to them have to lay off more people. Okay, that's cyclical unemployment. It's a very, very bad form of unemployment. So uh, in, in this case, the bus cycle causes more, more, more harm. Now, the Keynesian economists economist will say government intervention, maybe uh, lowering the interest rates, having uh, a fiscal and monetary policies will lead the economy back into confidence again. So although there's a lot of debate concerning why the business cycle occurs, uh, it is generally accepted that uh, consumer confidence and consumer uh, spending is to be associated with uh, the business cycle and the boom and bust cycle of, of increasing, and, uh, and, uh, increasing rapidly and decreasing or a slowing down of the GDP growth. <clears throat> Now here's a handy graph I stolen uh, from Kahan Academy. I will link my sources down below in the description. But as we could see, um, the business cycle has uh, increases and decreases as well as increases. So um, consumer uh, or 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 
consumer uh, emotions may feel in, uh, or, or in consumer investment investor uh, emotions feel optimism excitement drill and euphemism uh, what, what euphoria when the economy is good when the economy is decreasing uh, anxiety denial fear desperation panic um, uh, things like this will exist okay so because of this uh, investors are are incentivized to buy or sell and consumers are incentivized to buy more and sell more based on their trust based on their uh, uh, faith perceived faith within the economic systems and within the economy the economy of the given country so uh, I hope this uh, video is 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 a helpful di uh, helpful in at least in some ways to illustrate some in, in the most basic form the basic uh, business cycles uh, you know the boom and bust cycle as well as talk about maybe a theory behind why this occurs uh, revolved more around the consumers and consumer spending and consumer confidence. So I hope this video is helpful, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. We'll be going into depth about aggregate demand. Goodbye.